For him, so you're watching Fuse on Demand. Get it when you want it. We've been together for 20 some odd years. I mean, not a lot of bands can say that even. When I first started playing guitar, I had dreams of being a successful musician and, and you know, headlining huge stadiums. Walking down those stairs and just feeling the energy of 60,000 people plus was next level. And you feel like you're floating at that point. Metallica's path from the beginning was always about breaking down uh, the divisions between the audience and the band. Our first show was a bunch of friends. Basically called everybody we could to get in there. There were about 200 people there. Pretty amazing for a first gig for anybody. We were having fun. We were playing the music that we wanted to hear. The word appreciative, I, I don't think that was in anybody's vocabulary in 1986 or 1990 or whatever. I, now, 25, 30 years later, you get a chance to sit here and go like, this is really amazing. Today more than ever, I look out there and say, man, I am, I'm a lucky bastard, man. <laughs> give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. There's been so many great, great things that have happened in our lives. These challenges seem to show up for Metallica, and we're grateful for them. And, you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is certainly one of those. There's no guarantee ever in, in, in life when you actually accomplish something like that, it's it's pretty it's pretty intense. It's a great honor to to be a part of this journey. Metallica's longevity has a lot to do with its music and its fan base. So if that's both there, there's no reason to stop. I, I just don't know. I don't know um if we can do it for another 20 years, and I just hope that we have the good senses to get the f out of Dodge and become silly.